What's up guys? Today we're going to be building a bald eagle nest on Crimson Oak Farms. This bald eagle nest is going to sit on top of this 35 foot telephone pole that uh, Bama Bass had laying around. This main structure is going to use two by sixes and before we get too deep in the build, let's sort of talk about why we want to build a bald eagle nest. So lately he's been having a lot of bald eagles flying to the area and since we built the duck house for the last project, it only made sense to give the bald eagles their own house. To start this build off, we're using treated 2x6s that is going to be framed into a 5 foot square uh, platform. And this platform is going to be mounted to the top of the telephone pole. Uh, what you'll see me doing here is measuring the diagonals to make sure everything's square. And then I will put on a cross brace to hold everything in, in place. Those cross braces will eventually get removed once the decking boards go on top. I'm starting to install these joists and you'll notice that the center two are a lot closer together and probably not normal for a typical deck build. And the reason for that is at the top of this telephone pole, we're going to end up cutting out two shelves on both sides and that's going to allow the platform to slip on top of the telephone pole and basically rest all of its weight on those two shelves that we're going to create. Here you can see me uh, finish cutting these decking boards. There ended up being about eight total with a two inch gap. The reason why we went with a two inch gap is because we didn't want such a tight gap that the rain couldn't get through, but we also didn't want such a large gap that when the bald eagles come up there and eat, they wouldn't drop any of their food. Before we can mount the nest onto the telephone pole, we're gonna need to move the pole onto a, a couple of saw horses. This is going to raise it up enough just so we can slide the nest on and bolt everything in place. From my research, this pole is going to be around 800 to 1,000 pounds, just the pole alone. Now that we got the pole sitting on top of the saw horses, it's time to start laying out how we want to cut these notches in there. Once I got the measurements where I liked them, I used the circular saw to make a bunch of passes, and then I used a hammer to knock off all of the clippings. This was able to give me a pretty clean and smooth face. This second face was a little bit more tricky to measure due to it needing to be parallel with the face that was previously cut. Um, once I got all my markings, I used the same circular saw method and used a hammer to knock off the clippings. And I don't know why, but this part is so satisfying to me. Now that we got the power pole with the notches cut into it, we're going to lift the platform up and align everything to where we like it. We ended up using a couple temporary boards on the bottom to lift it up. That way it gave us a clean center center mount to the power pole. And then from there, I marked center between the notches and I drilled it through then fastened it together with a bolt. The top of the power pole did stick out about half inch on the platform which was going to interfere with our deck boards. So we had to trim the top off with the chainsaw. All right, we're working on the Eagle House using a telephone pole. What we did is we notched out the top of the telephone pole. This way, the all the weight would be on the shelf of the telephone pole. Then we have a bolt running through it. That's just to stabilize it in the center. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to have two braces on this side to control this axis and then we're also going to put two more coming from here this way out and make a perch. Let's quickly jump through and finish putting on the supports and the deck and we'll have her installed in the morning. Now that help has arrived, we're going to drill out the hole for the power pole to sit in. We went about seven foot deep, which is pretty standard for telephone poles this size. Once we get the hole drilled out, he's going to attach his crane to the 
um, roughly center of this telephone pole, and he's going to pick up and then grab it with some claws on the end, and that's going to allow him to simply pick the pole up, walk it over, and set it in the hole. Once we had it set in the hole, we did put some concrete in there and stamped all the dirt around up top, so she ain't going nowhere. We did have the intentions of setting this pole ourselves, but once we felt the weight of the power pole plus the weight of the eagle nest on top, it just didn't seem possible with two people and his tractor. So luckily we were able to get these guys on the phone and come out here and make it look way too easy. I'm doing a test climb of the pole to make sure that when the cameras come in, I'll be able to climb right up the pole, mount on some, some arm and then have the camera sitting on top. That way we can view the bald eagles at all times. These next couple of clips are a teaser of what's to come. We're going to be building an end table of the Crimson Oak Pond. And what you'll see me doing is riding around in a boat, mapping the bottom of the pond. We, I'll go over the software and how the design process works in the build video. But you can see that I'm generating a map and I can get a 3D model of the pond. We're going to take that 3D model. We're going to CNC it onto a piece of wood. Uh, maybe 3D print all the features, fill it with clear resin, and build a nice little end table. I do have a couple of more ideas that I don't want to spoil just yet, but yeah, this is an idea of what's to come. So be sure to like and subscribe, that way you don't miss these cool projects coming up.